Oh, hey everyone. Saturday, July 27th. <laughs> I got to talk about something. Uh, I'm just like, it, I'm just sometimes absolutely aghast of the stupidity of people. Not everyone, of course. I mean, geez. But like, boy, are there a lot of stupid people in Facebook groups. Then there's ignorant people and then just people just trying to be assholes. Or of course, they would never get away with the asshole part with me right in front of them, but because they can hide behind their keyboard. Anyways, to get to the story, so I'm trying to sell the bus, okay? The motor is blown. Um, uh, everything else, though, is perfect, okay? I made a very detailed ad on what all the goodies that it comes with, which is probably about $10,000 worth of stuff alone between the solar and everything else in that damn thing. And... Um, and then of course my written text as well and then I have like a picture of them you know the unit with my phone number on it for sale you know full fully off grid all that stuff and then there's like 14 other pictures okay so my ads are very detailed I do that for a guy for the Starlink stuff I create graphics and ads and stuff like that um, it's something I actually enjoy doing uh, it's not really work for me it's something that's kind of fun I didn't know it was something I would enjoy but here it is so anyways so I've got nice ads up there and I'm putting them in the Facebook sales groups anybody that's been on Facebook you know they got groups and then there's groups that you can go and buy and sell stuff I run 60 of my own the reason I do that is is that when I do something like the Starlink or the firewood before I can control what's going on in my groups so if there's any competitors out of my groups you know that kind of thing and uh, it also gives me access to my groups that I run of things I may not see in other groups Okay, like meaning something I'd want to buy or whatever. So I mean, I'm constantly adding people and taking spammers out, all that stuff. So I'm constantly busy with my groups. So anyways, I have gotten more dumbasses. I just got one from a guy named Jason. Okay, I'm gonna start calling these people out maybe. That's maybe I should do, have like a little TikTok where I call dumbasses out with their names. And uh, he's from Sault Ste. Marie, area code 705. That's the, all I'm gonna tell you for now. And first thing out of his thing, and I put this specifically at the top of my ad, do not ask me if it's still available. If it's up, it's still available, okay? Stupid comments, something else, something else. I said, I just automatically block you, okay? And that's right at the top of the ad, very clear. Then the next thing I have, not right at the top, but a couple lines down, is I explain what's going on with the motor, then I put $10,000 worth of safety stuff, so it's safety for the highways in Ontario, uh, at Oaks Truck Center in Perth, top of the line folks, making sure I was safe, and so, of course, the safety. So, but I get that. Oh, well, uh, does it, I want to drive it back to Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, has it got any mechanical problems? Like, what? Okay, I get this constantly. They don't read. I mean, anything after the first line. You know, or something. I don't know. It's either that or they read it. It's just not getting into their stupid, thick heads. Or, I think I've gotten some of them that just do it on purpose, right? Well, they're just automatically blocked and I'm done with that. Today, I get another clown. I think uh, the group is called Schoolie Nation. This clown sends me a message or puts a comment on my ad, okay? You should have cleaned the sink before you put it for sale. What? Like, who the fuck are you to even say anything to me unless you're looking to buy it, first of all, and you wouldn't dare if you were in front of me. But, like, is your, and I, I put a message there and then I turned off the comment and then reported them to the uh, admins. But it's like, is your life so pathetic that this is what you have time to do? Like, you have nothing better to do but then come in and do stupid shit like, I didn't say stupid shit, but stupid comments or idiotic comments like this. So I put that on there and then I, I, I made sure to, you know, turn the comments off so he can sit and look at it and stew. Because he's looking for a fight or something. Because, I mean, why would you go, like, are people that pathetic that you got to get up, go onto a computer, go through, scroll through, I don't know how many millions of ads, and then you see something and it's like, oh, well, you should have washed the sink. Like, what's the matter with these fucking people? You know, you just want to beat them over the head with a stick. It's like, you know, you shouldn't reproduce. Like, you should be fixed at birth. Uh, I mean, I just can't believe it. I mean, I'm getting about 10 responses a day. I get one that's maybe serious. Maybe. Okay. Now, I've got 
almost $40,000 in this unit, okay? And before that motor blew, I had people already offer me 30,000, okay? And I'm like, nah, I'm gonna keep it. And uh, so that's that. Now I went, I didn't even have it up for sale, but people that you know saw me driving around or whatever and then walked up to me or they drove by my place, no, 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 no. So now that the motor's bone, I go, okay, you know what? I'll put it out for, I think I started at 25,000, no bites. 20,000, no bites. But then I started to get stupid stuff. Oh, well, that's too much. No motor. Da, 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 da. Okay, whatever. I'm not interested in your opinions. And that's the other thing. Like, okay, like just scroll on. Because I don't need your opinions. No one wants your opinions. The only one that wants your opinions is the one looking back at you in the mirror. And you might want to re, uh, re up your brain there. Like, you go on Facebook, you specifically go into a group, pull the thousands of posts, and you're going to say something stupid. Like, really? Is your life that pathetic? Okay? So, anyway, this is what I'm dealing with trying to sell this bus. Well, I'm down now to $9,995. And do you think now people want me... Oh, I had one guy two days ago. Well, why don't you fix that motor up and then you could sell it, Phil, for that price. Uh, I might even be interested. Yeah, I'm sure you would, asshole. Okay? It's going to be a five or $6,000 job for the fucking motor uh, repair. Minimum. Okay? We don't even know for sure what's wrong with it. Okay, all we know is it, 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 it appeared to be a thing. But this guy's like, okay, for $9,995, okay, I've already put 10,000 in safety repairs, new suspension, new, okay? Uh, it's loaded to the tits with all kinds of stuff to be off grid. And this clown wants me to spend five or $6,000 just for him so he can buy it for $9,995. So I'm like, like, are you that fucking stupid? Like really, are you that fucking stupid? And this is what I'm getting all the time. So for you people that do that kind of shit, why don't you go get lives or something? Or if you don't do that, go jump off a cliff. Go walk into the water to your hat floats. You know, that kind of deal. Because, like, you, you shouldn't be reproducing or even, you know, live in this world. Maybe we'll send you to Mars with Elon or something. I don't know. But I mean, like, wow. Okay? So anyways, I wanted to get that out. It's off my chest. It's done. It's gone. Uh, moving along, I was talking to my friend Anna. She runs like a huge Airbnb business in Ottawa. Well, Gatineau, Ottawa. And uh, um, um, I told her, I said, you know, if I don't sell this thing, you know, then you know what? I'm going to move it to the back. I'm going to clean up that. There's an area that I can clean up. Uh, nice big, you know, area. It's got a roundabout so you could drive in and drive out, that kind of thing. It's in the back. I originally was going to put the trailer there, but I changed my mind. I put it up closer up the front. But I'm thinking I'm going to get someone to come in and pull that with a tractor or something. My neighbor's got a tractor. He could probably come pull it with his big Kubota. And, uh, oops, I'm not turning. What am I doing? Um, I'll pull it to the back, get it set up. Um, I'll run power out to it because it can run on shore power and or solar. And I'm gonna think I'm just gonna Airbnb that thing. I'll find out from Anna what she thinks I can get per night out here. You know, and, and I'll advertise it as a wilderness something, I don't know. Um, I don't know, I don't think I want people hunting on it. Like, if you wanna come up and stay there and then hunt in the area, or that kind of thing, well, that's your d issue. If you wanna fish, well, okay, I'm there. But I don't wanna be bothered. I don't want people knocking on my door, all that other shit. That's the thing I told Anna. I said, you, you know, I'll list what's there, what I'm willing to do and what I'm not to do, and what I need from them. And Airbnb, I guess, is pretty particular. Like when you put this stuff in, if people don't follow it, you can turf them right away, or, you know, they uh, they screen the people out, Anna says. Like, it's not perfect, but it does screen a lot of the idiots out. Because, like, you know, you get a bad reputation amongst the people that run these things, nobody's going to take you. Because I see her go through this all the time. Now, she's got a huge operation there. I mean, she's got them in Dominican. She's got them in Ottawa. Well, Gatineau, but, like, that's right next to Ottawa. And there's at least two buildings I'm aware. Now, she's not the owner-owner. She works for the guy that owns it. I used to work for him back when he owned strip clubs um but like she runs the whole show he doesn't have anything to do with it he doesn't know how to do anything with it he's just uh, the money man behind the whole thing she airbnb's her own house so if she gets somebody in her and her husband will take off to toronto and see family or you know they they, they take a little trip somewhere whatever so all good 
so she does make that money straight to her own pocket so but anyway she's really good at it so I was telling her yesterday or I guess no it was today I was telling her I was saying like you know I'm not gonna go below this price I'm done with that um, I mean geez at nine thousand dollars or oh, just under ten thousand dollars it'd make a hell of an off-grade hunt camp for someone you know just go tow it into where you're going set it up put it up on blocks if you want get it off the tires and you've got yourself a perfectly great hunt camp whether you have power going to that hunt camp or not you know and it's got everything to be off grid so you know it's a little more work than let's say a, a built you know like out of two by four and lumber uh hunt camp but you know, or it could be a great granny cabin on a lake with a cottage somewhere or whatever. I mean, for 10 grand, you're not going to get a whole lot with all the things that this thing's got. So anyway, like I said, I didn't want to go over 10 minutes. I guess I'll split this up into two five minute parts or six minute parts or something. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this up like, my God, like people, you know, get off Facebook if you're not doing anything but harass people. You know, you're mentally ill, obviously, because why would you? I mean, I got, I play on Facebook and I try to do stuff on Facebook. Plus, I have Lad from the Woods, so that's what I do. But I mean, the minute I'm not, I, I don't have to be on there or this or that. Hey, man, I'm not anywhere near my Facebook group. I'm off doing something, you know. But like, I just, I just shake my head at the absolute sheer stupidity. You know, I've sold things all my life, but back in the day, you had to put an ad in a newspaper. So it weeded out every idiot in the planet just about. You'd still get the odd one, but nothing like now. That's the one thing about social networks. It allows the idiots that you'd never heard from ever in your entire life, whatever, they would just sit in their little basements doing whatever it is they do, you know. But now they get on the internet and it's like, God, man, like, you know, it's, if somebody really wants to bust, these idiots' comments aren't going to dissuade them from buying. Okay, they'll talk to me directly. But I mean, it's a pain because I, you know, I'm constantly answering, oh yeah, oh yeah. So now I don't even bother. As soon as I see the first words at the top of their first line, is it still? And I'm like, block, instant block. I don't even bother talking to them. Yeah, maybe I lost a sale. I don't care because you're not following what I've asked you to follow. Don't ask because Facebook has this thing set up so that people can just push a button. And I'm, I'm not the only one. There's like, you see it all the time with people selling in the groups. It's like, God, I wish they'd get rid of this button. So now we all have to put it in there. If it's still up, it's still available. Don't ask if it's still available. Because people just push that button without thinking. And you know, you get like 90% of the people that aren't even serious because of this setup. Anyway. Oh, so we're back here at the camp. I'm gonna see if I can do something with this. I, I got the, I think the proper part for the, uh, for the, um, the weed trimmer. And I got a boat plug, but I think it might be too big. I'm not sure. I thought I only needed a three quarters, but I looked at this one here and it looks like it's the right size. But if it isn't, I can just bring it back. It's not like it's a big deal. Same with the uh, part for the weed trimmer. I'm just not sure about the weed trimmer. I'm gonna take the take it apart there so I'm gonna get off oh warning hi 